Welcome back to JB. It is absolutely cooking. A beautiful afternoon. Wind still grooming up the face and some solid waves reeling down the point here. And the entertainment factor, well, it's just relentless. Let's check out John John Florence taking on Connor O'Leary. He, he really does look so good out there, Ethan. And uh, here's John. Good call to get this wave off early. And um, whoa, nice big turn from John. Um, smaller wave, but looks like it's going to set up for the barrel. And wow, tube time. Wow. Great way to start the heat here from John. Another big hack. You can't ask for a better start to that than your heat. No, absolutely. Okay, the bird's eye view here. As we see John just coming down the point, tucks in perfectly, drags the arm, gets a little tube time, maintains his position right up high, the top half of the wave. And it comes in and then that trademark layback hack that he has just uh, used as a, as a weapon to win so many events. Florence parking it here, getting the vision, and he is loving it his fast start in this heat right now as he travels through this one i love the look up that he got at the end the cheeky little look up at the tower as well and we talked about the relationship he's had with this country that's basically to do with the waves and other factors as well and he is loving his chance to compete in pumping surf it oh, oh these th this turn here is just so packed with power and that's about <laughs> as, as much emotion as you're going to see out of John Florence in terms of a claim. And um, you were right Richie, I think the last time he competed here was six years ago so yeah. um, it's been great to have him back in South Africa. Meanwhile right behind him is pick up live vision. Connor O'Leary will be patient and just stand up and wait for this one and he'll go and attack, tags the lip, winds into a bottom turn, big wow. hit from him, super vertical. Yeah, I think that was a good call from Jordy, and uh, here we have Conor O'Leary on another way. It was, that's a replay. So we've got the natural food versus the goofy footer in the seat, and uh, going to be interesting to see how they how they judge that. Yeah, well, what Conor does so well uh, for such a tall guy. Yeah, I tell you, from uh, the, the very first year I came, I think it was 1996, a long time ago, uh, the town was half the size and, and we really didn't see too many local uh, kids and surfers getting involved. But, you know, coming back now, uh, you know, it's great to see so many kids. Meanwhile, let's pick up this guy, Florence. He's been quiet since his 9-2-3 from the beginning of this heat. And now just slicing his way down the line here. Look at this stuff from him. And he'll let a little bit of cover and just flare into the lip by releasing the tail, pushing hard on that board. The control is incredible for John Florence. He's been real patient and looking very, very good value indeed. Replay here with John. Yeah, John just uh, on one of the reef huggers up the point here. A little bit smaller, but uh, John getting some good work done here. That carving arc, uh, throwing a ton of spray. Looked like he was going to tuck in for a little barrel there, but uh, didn't open up. It's a whole other level to be able to perform on the championship tour, and he's done that. Connor O'Leary got this wave during the break. So Connor's got some work to make up here because uh, the 923 from John Florence right off the hooter was amazing. I mean, we saw it live. Uh, his backhand, he's already produced 9.57 today, so you'd expect him to be able to have that confidence to produce it once again because he's going to have to. But look at these waves. I mean, it's perfect for the backhanders. He's got such a great wave knowledge of the type of wave he needs to have to surf at J-Bay on his backhand. And that was a great answer. Look at how powerful he is compressing off the bottom. And look at the vertical approach. You don't see a whole lot of forehanders doing that vertical of a hit. And then to be able to do the tightest arc on the lip, that's why the backhand can be a bit of a favorite, you know, because uh, you get to be able to go to that vertical approach. The one thing you want to do is showcase some variety, and that's where those different angles and release of the fins come into play, and he did that on this wave. This is going to be his best number so far. Great answer to the 923 of John John Florence, and he's going to make this one a heat. And now here to live action, John John Florence had the big nine early, now sets that track back into the pocket. I don't know if anyone on tour can redirect like that. All rail. Setting up a nice big wind up, whips it again. Draws down into the pocket. 
So far, so good for John. Tracking again with that Paisel and sneaks out on the end section. He thinks he's probably doing just a normal snap, but it's faster, quicker, drivier uh, than his competitors because uh, that's why he's getting better numbers. Connor stalled the takeoff to set up that big backhand blast. Understand speed control. Lays it down again. Bit of a fire hose off the tail of his board as he goes up through the lip. Slopey section now to a critical section and will shut it down O'Leary. He's been making great decisions all day. <laughs> She's enjoying every moment of this. Uh, so cool. Love the timing set up here. You had mentioned it, the little stall and take off. And he sets up the first section knowing that he needs to meet it when it's nice and vertical and with the right speed. He did that. Gets that first move done. It was so important to get a nice explosive first maneuver. Sets up these next moves here. Way smaller as far as the sets we've seen. But he's getting himself in the heat, keeping himself in the heat, and giving himself the opportunity to get the 7.54 needed. And it's right there on the cusp of being that, especially with the outside moves. You talked about the fire hose. Yeah, this guy does have a fire hose on the back of his boards. And that's all about timing and the acceleration through the lip and where you're placing it. He knows that better than anyone. He's been very consistent this season. And uh, it's due to this back end, a very strong back end. You see that acceleration in the lip. And again, placing it differently, you know, doing different styles and different angles to kind of showcase the variety on the backhand, which can be so difficult. And then the vertical approach, and he is just money on that. Always been able to go straight up and come out with a ton of speed. That's the difficulty that happens there, is if you go too vert, it's hard to arc that board 90 degrees back down and keep the speed going. A special wave, and Sean's just heating up. A couple of steps in the bottom turn, but jumps off the roof and gets the completion. Let's see a little difference here. Let's see what uh, John has us. This first arc outside, again, extending it all the way through and even getting that bottom turn back around it to keep himself out front. There's the mix with the layback carve and more opportunity. Drives the rail through this section, sets up the inside and straight up into it. Nice combination there. Even more to give right in front of Felipe. And a good finish. Matter of fact, he's going to improve on his score line here, as you see. In the lip, tagging it as hard as he can with speed and comes out. Woohoo. Little disconnect with his feet, but he keeps it on his board. He was looking at the lip again. Man, the anticipation must just kill you. Oh, for the fans and then for the athletes. Here goes Connor deciding to go on this wave, and some sections are going to keep him honest before his big first turn connects well. Sweeps off the bottom, nice. Finn Ditch on that power hack. Regains his line. Now big sweep again. Throws it in the pocket, wide open face for O'Leary. Drills it off the top, air drop and controls it. Off the gates, but he had to pull the trigger early. It really did feel like that to me because he had to race this one in the beginning. But knowing that, he's still going to give it his all. Uh, but it just didn't quite give him that turn there, but then a uh, uh, little off balance. You know, judges take note of that. It's like uh, a gymnastic, you know, you, you land your moves. You want to be in control completely from start to finish on this wave. Did everything though, put in a good effort. Judge is about to make a decision what? here. Oh my God, he turned Michael it. Connor's about to get the surprise and maybe he wasn't expecting. <laughs> Look at him, he's in disbelief. Connor O'Leary takes out John John Florence. Getting the score at the buzzer. An 8.77.